Hello viewers, today I am going to demonstrate you a simple procedure in which we are going to inject a sacroiliac joint. A sacroiliac joint can be an infrequent cause of pain and if uh, the non-surgical measures have uh, failed to improve the symptoms, then you can inject sacroiliac joint with some steroid and hopefully uh, it will uh, improve the pain which can serve as both of diagnostic as well as therapeutic value. So I'll take you step by step as how to do this injection properly. So this is the theater setup. Now patient is of course uh, going to be prone and there is a pillow under um, the front of her uh, abdomen and the table should be neutral. Now the C-arm is going to come from the opposite side. Uh, my trolley will be on this side. My C-arm screen will be right in the front. So this will be the theta setup for this particular procedure. So let me show you what we will need in order to do this procedure. So we'll need this uh, sponge holder, um, first to clean it and secondly, we'll use the circle to localize uh, the inferior aspect of the sacroiliac joint. Now this is some uh, one or two percent lignocaine. We have taken five mils to anesthetize the area. Then we have got a 22 gauge uh, spinal needle. Uh, we have got Omnipake. Uh, this is the dye to localize the correct position and this is 4 ml um, a mixture of uh, 80 milligram depomedron which is 2 ml and 2 ml of 1 or 2 percent lignocaine so this is what we will need now the next step will be to show you the radiology uh, of the sacroiliac joint as what to localize and where to put the injection so when you're doing this injection you need to look at two views one is in which your cr will be in neutral position and if you take a shoot and then I will show you how it looks. So if you see this when you are taking a straight shoot up view then you will see only the inferior aspect of the joint, the superior or the middle aspect of the joint will not be seen. So the second shoot if you take it with your C arm if it was in this position give 15 degree of tilt. And if you can, Akash can show, this is saying minus 15. So just tilt it towards the opposite side and then I will show you what you will see. So if you see this view in which you have got 15 degree of tilt, then you will see all across the sacroiliac joint. But the most important part is the inferior part. So what I am going to do is, I am going to realign my C arm back to neutral position and then localize it and then insert my needle. So now I'm just using the one edge uh, or the handle of the sponge holder and I'm going to localize the inferior aspect of sacroiliac joint. So I've taken a shoot and I will show you what I mean by that. So this is what you want to see because uh, our needle is going to enter from the inferior aspect. So this is our main area where we want to focus on. So once I have localized it, I'm going to mark it with a marking pen and then I'm going to insert local anesthetic first. So now I am taking a 5 ml um, syringe with the local anesthetic and I'm going to localize the inferior aspect of the sacroiliac joint and I've taken a shoot and I will ask Akash to show what I mean by that. So once you can see that my needle is just on the medial aspect of the sacroiliac joint. That is the perfect position. So my next step will be to just take my needle vertically and inject this track so that I can inject or input my uh, spinal needle without uh, much discomfort to the patient. So I'm just going to go vertical and then inject the whole track with the sacro of the sacroiliac joint. So just go vertical, keep aspirating and inject the local anesthetic to make that tract pain free. So wait for a few minutes for it to act. Then your next step will be to insert the spinal needle. So what I do is I take a sponge holder and hold the spinal needle with it so that you're not exposing your hands while taking the x-rays and then we will take a shoot and I will show you how it should look on a CRM. So if you look at the CRM images, you can see that our needle is in the inferior aspect of the joint and it is pretty central. 
Um, now ideally it should be close to the medial wall and then you slide it but I am happy with this position so I am just going to proceed in the same direction till I feel a giveaway of going into the joint. Now once you um, take this spinal needle, this particular patient is quite obese so a lot of needle has gone inside. In thin patients uh, it won't be that difficult. So what it needs is once you keep going in, keep going in and your idea is because you are, your C arm is perpendicular, you just keep on following the track of the C arm, you will end up in the joint. You will feel a giveaway when you enter the joint. So on this occasion, I felt a giveaway. I think I'm in the right place. My next step will be to put some Omnipeg dye and then confirm the position. So now I am uh, put some uh, dye in and if you look at this zero degree, it may look like as if um, the dye is not in the joint, but this gives me confidence that this is in the joint. Now I am going to take a 15 degree tilted view and then Akash will show you how it looks. So now if you can see our needle position is quite perfect inferiorly and the dye is now going nicely into the joint. I have not put enough. Uh, but if I wanted to put more, it will go up to the top. So don't worry if it doesn't look like it's in the joint on AP. Take a 15 degree view and then it will give you a clear indication whether you are at the right place or not. And that is one thing when you are injecting the sacroiliac joint because the joints are at an angle. So in some patients, you may get away with zero. So in some patients, you may have to use 15 degree tilt. In some, you may need to have both. Like on this occasion, it was looking out. But when you take a 15 degree tilted view, it is in perfect position and dye flow is beautiful. So the next step is to just uh, inject a mixture of steroid as well as lignocin. So last thing is just to put a mixture of some steroid as well as lignocin and a patient does feel some sense of pressure. So just be slow and just keep on injecting it. So now once uh, we injected, uh, we had some difficulty. We managed to inject around 3 ml and after that, I think uh, needle uh, moved. So we had to reposition it. But once you uh, give the local anesthetic and the steroid, uh, the dye should wash off and that confirms that you've injected in the right spot. I think one of the best thing that you can use is a connector. We didn't have access to the connector so that once you are in the right position, just use the connector so that the needle doesn't move. But this is how you inject a sacroiliac joint. So viewers, this was a demonstration on how to do a sacroiliac joint injection. Uh, I hope uh, this video was useful. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you're visiting my channel for the first time, please do subscribe to the channel and you will find many more videos which will be useful in your clinical practice. Uh, please continue our support. Please give us a thumbs up, please do subscribe and do share our channel. Thank you.